what I recommend is you always start with zero and we're going to be using just this zero degree cam angle table. So right now we're on our overlay table on our zero degree. We can see up here it's signifying we're on the zero degree table. And if we look down this list, we could select these other tables. But again, we're on zero and essentially let's assume we're either live or we're going to be able to go ahead and flash this. We're going to go and drive through the table. And what we want to do is make sure that we're driving with a steady throttle. So if we're operating the vehicle not on a dyno, we have to make sure that we're uh, keeping a steady throttle and not having large throttle movements and just fill out this table the best you can um, and sweeping as many data points as you can. So what we're going to do after we've done that, populate this table, we're going to go in and then make changes based on blending the table smoothly. So if we find that this area right here might show it's pulling out 8%, negative 8%, negative 10%, negative 2%, negative 5%, we're going to call this an overall change of maybe something like negative five. We highlight it, control J, and hit negative five. And then we move on to the next section. We might find that certain areas are going to be maybe showing that need some more fuel. Certain areas might need to be turning down fuel. Because we've made all of these fuel lines here in the 2D two-dimensional table, all of our columns here of fuel, are going to be the same. What we're going to find is we should be able to apply broad changes across an area. So for example, you might find that this area here between 27 to 35 needs to have fuel taken out. But then at 45 to 55, we might have to add some fuel in. What you shouldn't see is bits and pieces of this table, such as a section here might need some more fuel, and then a section here might need less fuel, and then a section here might need more fuel. You're not gonna have that kind of behavior. What that's gonna indicate is you have sampling problems in your wideband to the overlay table. So what you would wanna do is jump into your options, jump into your settings, we're gonna go in here, to our sensor, or to our, I'm sorry, to our lambda overlay. And the transition delay, if it's at a half second, let's increase it to one second. And then the number of samples, let's increase this to 10. And then we're gonna click OK. And what we're gonna find is, it's gonna filter out any kind of uh, unwanted rapid throttle movements or, or changes that would change the amount of the air fuel that's gonna represent it better in the table. So the larger number of samples we take, the more accurate the air fuel is gonna be per cell point. So if we find that we're finding we have a, a hot, some uh, a fuel right here is going to be taken out and then some fuel is going to be put in here and then taken out or scatter amounts in the table, again, that's going to indicate that you have to increase your number of samples and your transition delay so that you're going to plot more accurate data. Now, once you've done that and you've gone through and set up your overlay table here, the next step is going to be to copy and paste this entire table here of your zero degree. We're going to copy this. We're going to use our two points here. This is going to bump us up into the next table. If we hit this plus, we're going to be operating now into 10 degree. Alternatively, you can always go into here and select 10 degree. And what we're going to do is Command V and we're going to be or Control V. And we're going to be pasting our low 10 degree table into our 10 degree table. And right off the bat, our table is probably going to be lean if we try to drive it like this. So what I would suggest you do is just highlight the whole table, hit Control J, add 10 percent. And that's going to allow you to have a little bit more fuel in here uh, because at the higher cam angle we're in a command, it's going to need a little bit more fuel in comparison to our zero degree. 